expectation about me. Here's a picture of me as a kid with my mom and my two brothers. Now, I'm really close with my family, and my two brothers are now married, and they're older than me. And my mom and my dad, they all live in Minnesota. Currently, I am married to my wonderful wife, Christy, who's a third grade teacher. And this is a picture at the top right hand corner of her family. And then there's a picture at the bottom of me doing some chainsaw carving art. And on the top left is a picture from our wedding. So I was born and raised in Minnesota. And now we moved to Salt Lake City, my wife and I, to be teachers. We, uh, we've really been enjoying the ability to go up in the mountains and to hike around a lot. But in Minnesota, we also did a lot of outdoor activities. It was just usually a little bit more cold. And in the summers, we like to go out to the lake and hang out on the boat. But yeah, so now we're in Utah, love and life. So here's just a little bit about things that I enjoy to do. First off, I, I really do enjoy all things about art. So whether it's painting or drawing or, or going to art exhibitions or whatever it may be, I just like art and I like to create things. In Utah, I really enjoyed starting to do a lot of hiking and biking. Biking's always been a passion of mine. Now, when we go home and we get to spend time with our family, it really it really brings home how important family is. And now that we're not necessarily, you know, a mile away, you you really realize how important your family is. Traveling has always been a really big passion of mine and that was one of the main things that my wife and I found that we were on common grounds with where we both love to travel. Another thing I really enjoy is teaching at open high school. It's been such a wonderful opportunity for me to to not only grow as a teacher but also to get to know a wide range of students and work individually with them where maybe in the regular classroom setting I wouldn't be able to have so much individual attention. The last couple things I thought of when it comes to things I enjoy, it's really just learning how to do new things. I do enjoy watching Netflix and hanging out. I uh, And I also just enjoy most things that have to do with education, just reading about it and being a part of it. The question is, how did I become an art teacher? Well, I thought in high school, what would I want to do for the rest of my life? What would I want to wake up every day and go to work and be happy about it? And the answer to that kept coming back to the idea of being an art teacher because it was a great combination of all my passions. My passion to work with people, my passion to help people, my passion to work with art. And, and I also really have this belief in the idea of the importance of the arts and the importance of an art classroom where students can feel free to you know explore new things feel free to not have to worry so much about failing or or you know getting the wrong answer but more just coming up with ideas because i feel like in so much of the real world sometimes you may fail and and all that really turns out to be is you learning how to do it in a better way. So in yearbook or in art class or in you know graphic design or whatever the class may be, I try to give as many possibilities and let you go out and explore and attempt something. And if you do fail, learn from your failures because that's the most important thing about about going through those processes in the creative process. So 
I started in high school thinking I wanted to be an art teacher. I went to college and went through the steps of learning how to do all the different things that an artist does. And then I went on to a graduate school in order to, to learn how to teach. And here I am today, love and life. Thanks for coming and checking out a little bit about myself. I really can't wait to get to know you a little bit better as, as individuals and also as members of the class. Well, I hope you have a, a wonderful day and please, please do not hesitate to contact me. And also let's make a, let's make a classroom where we get to know each other too. Let's make that extra effort to, you know, shoot each other chats or I don't know, just comment on each other's work and, and really bring the classroom to that unified place that it, that it can be. Have a great day.